What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Last time my friends, we obtained the last Somnom Stone through saving the final Pillow Master. Today guys, we can finally make our way to the Pillow Temple and then use the ulti bed to make our way to the Dream World and find the Z Keeper and ask him for his assistance. It is finally time guys, the end of the game is upon us. After this, I don't think there's anything else that's major to the story besides making our way to Bowser slash Antasma's castle and then beating the game. So it's pretty exciting times for us. So anyways, before we begin, you already know the drill. Drop a like on this video. I would really, really appreciate it. We have a lot to do today. And by a lot, I'm not really sure exactly what's going to happen today. But uh, I know we're just going to be making our way to the temple part. So uh, today is Friday. And today is the day where Nintendo is releasing Nintendo Labo. And it's supposed to be like this uh, cardboard kit, which is pretty sophisticated, allowing you to play some pretty cool games. And uh, I got it in the mill. Well, I mean, it's coming in the mill today. I don't know if it's actually here at the house or not, because I'm recording this video relatively early during the day. So eventually, throughout during the day, I'll be able to get this package and um, I'll hopefully be able to unbox it for you guys. Um, I was thinking of doing like a full-fledged unboxing video, honestly, but after seeing like the... Uh, like the amount of work that goes into it, I started contemplating on if I even wanted to do it or not. Maybe I was just going to do it off screen and then eventually, you know, make a video on it um, showing all the cool stuff about Nintendo Labo and all that good jazz. But I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see once I get the thing in the mail. So, um... As you guys can see, Mario and Luigi are pretty decent in uh, their stats right now. Um, I did, however, look it up. There is a boss fight, so I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to do on this boss, but, oh, uh, man, I guess I'm just going to have to go into this. And I didn't train or anything like that, so it's kind of unfortunate, but I think I could do this. I believe that I could do this. Let me actually take a look at my gear real quickly and see if there's anything that I could wear that'll potentially give me, like, more HP. Um, that actually gives me... Okay, but it KOs you in three turns, so it's not worth it. There's no way I could probably kill this boss in three turns. I mean, maybe if I grinded a little bit, I would have been able to do it, but I totally neglected all that good stuff, which is unfortunate. So, we're just gonna have to take our chances right now, and I'm actually gonna save the game right here just in case, um, you know, anything goes south. I could just restart from right here rather than having to come from the place that I just came from, but uh, I hope I could do this, guys. Um, and I am just gonna go ahead and wing it. Let's do this. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Mario and Luigi will die, and then I'm gonna have to restart the battle. This is me pep-talking myself, honestly. Like, I have to give myself a nice little pep-talk before I go into a boss fight. So, this is the final attack piece of the area. Now we learned a brand new bros attack, and, uh, this bros attack is known as Jetboard Bash. So, let's go ahead and find out exactly how to do this. Let's demo it out. Of course, we have to demo this thing out. Um, so we're gonna watch the demo first and foremost. Ooh, look at this! They're already on literally a jet board, and you gotta click B. Luigi's using his hands. I used to do this as a kid, man. I used to sit on a skateboard because I was always so scared. Whoa! Okay! So you just crash into someone. That is not cool. That's probably one of the worst ways to go out. So let's go ahead and practice this ourselves. We're gonna hit start. And then, uh, it says, press and hold the B button to paddle. And then as you draw near, press the A button. And I'm not sure when exactly you'll know to press the A button. I think it's just one of those things that you have to wing it. All right, so let's go ahead and mash that B button. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Come on, faster. Okay, we got a great. So, I mean, we almost got the excellent. I think you have to just really focus, um to win like Mario will actually hit the enemy and then you'll be able to do it properly but it seems like a pretty straightforward attack and I'll most likely end up using it in this episode I'm not really sure so we have three plus that so four total attacks that we could use um bye bye cannon actually wait let me take a look again bye bye cannon's one of them that uh, probably the attack that I'll most likely end up using in this battle just because I've already known how to do it like bomb deer bee is just one of those attacks I'm not really familiar with doing good so I don't know if I want to do... Ooh, is this going to activate at all? Oh, my gosh. Look at that, dude. All it took was a switch. If only Starlo was strong enough to just carry Mario all the way over there, I would have saved so much trouble. I mean, this... How does this, like... This doesn't help a person... Okay, so what I'm, try what I'm trying to say is, realistically thinking about this, if they're doing, like, these Somnom Stones to protect the temple... Just think about exactly what just happened. Like, if I could fly, I could literally get to the temple without the use of any of that junk. You know, it's kind of crazy. 
So now that I think about it, I might actually have to train before I even battle this boss. So we're going to attempt to fight him. I'm going to do something that I normally never do. I'm going to attempt to fight him. If I die, I will just dedicate the rest of this episode to battling enemies on screen. Um, but if I manage to kill the boss, then that would obviously be fantastic. And I won't have to do any off-screen training or on-screen training, uh, at least for now. Um, probably that will come in the future, but... It looks like this area also had a bunch of other stuff, which I totally neglected even looking at. And there's a save block here. Let's go ahead and hit the save block. I mean, it's totally unnecessary, to be honest. Well, actually, not really, because in a boss fight, you have to... They only give you two options. You either can restart the battle on easy, or you can just restart the battle. Uh, but you can't, like, quit the game and then start where, like, you before you fight the boss. You start off at your last save point. So, behold, the pillow temple. This is it. It's to just it's just a platform that's literally outside. Look in the center. A hugely powerful aura emits from there. So am I just supposed to put the bed there? The temple will be our gate to the Z Keeper. All right, let's do it, guys. Put the bed down on it. Uh-oh, what is this, though? What is this thing? I don't know, Dreambird. You're the prince of this island. You should know all this thing. Um, it stands in the way of where we must place the bed. Hmm. Maybe we need to give it a good old whack. Yes, the bed must go there. But, Mario, can you help? Okay, I'll do it, man. I will whack this thing like a mole. Woo! -hoo! I don't think it was a good idea to do that, but... You know, Mario and Luigi, they're not the brightest guys on the planet, and they uh, they just tend to just use their hammers rather than their brains whenever they're stuck in the pickle. And look at this. Uh-oh. Um, Pelodium. Who's Pelodium, bro? Go ahead. Spit it out. What is that? A defense weapon created during the Pillow Kingdom era. It has likely protected this place since that time. Uh-oh. It really is a boss, dude. So, okay. This is a... I, I take back everything that I said. Because I didn't know that this was created for uh, protection of the Pillow Island. But hey, I mean, they, they did think ahead. Just in case someone did that and they were able to fly through without getting the... Um Without getting the, uh, the the stones, they would meet this guy at the end, and they wouldn't be able to enter the temple, so therefore they would have been screwed. Look serious! Mario, Luigi, be careful! Wait, are you serious? You just expect me to fight him? Alright, this is it, guys. We just have to fight him, because Starlo said so. We can't argue with her. Scanning foe potential. Okay, he's scanning me. Um, chance of my victory, 120%. That doesn't even work, realistically. You can't say 120%. 20% more than 100. Alright. Three, two, one, and... Ah! What the heck, man? What? The Bro, I literally whacked the mole. And I still got smacked in the face like that. Hardcore. Okay, so... We're starting off the battle healing, which is definitely not a good thing. I mean, you don't want to start off a boss fight automatically healing. So, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and use this attack, uh, Sling Sniper. This should definitely be a good attack to do. All right, so we're going to pull back. Okay, there you go. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. There you go. All right, and then B. What the heck, bro? What is... What was that? Okay, that was... That was literally garbage. I don't know what I did there. I, like, totally forgot how to even do the attack. Like, legit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and whack this back to him. He's going to just keep flying it back to us, and we just got to keep sending it back to him. Um, I don't know, like, what happens if it hits me. I mean, it'll probably do some damage. Blow up in my face like that. And Luigi is dizzy, so that's fantastic. Uh, I'm already starting this battle off in a really bad fashion. So, I definitely might have to train, like, legit. Because, like, I, I do not have the HP for this. I don't even know why I used a super now. Why didn't I use something more beneficial than that? Okay, four, three, two, one, and... What the heck, man? Luigi's dead. That's amazing. One of the best ways to start off this battle. So I do remember a lot of people were telling me back in the day when I first did this that this is one of the hardest boss battles in the entire game. And, um, you know, it's it really could be and it really doesn't have to be. I mean, it all depends on just how you choose to fight this guy. And the way I'm doing it is just not good at all. So you hold the B button and aim. Okay, and then you click the B button. That's what I screwed up on, man. I just, I haven't been doing these bros attacks for a while. That I totally forgot exactly how it's done. That's, that's not good. So, here we go. We hold the B button. And then we just go ahead and launch directly at him. Excellent hit. 137 damage. Wow, that wasn't as much as I thought it would have done. I thought it was going to do way more than that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and B, A, B, O, oh, oh. What? What was that? Okay, whatever, fine. Luigi's defense is down. That's totally cool. We're going to go ahead and do 
this attack. And we're gonna attack, uh... Can I just attack- can I attack him, specifically? I don't know if this will actually work by attacking him in the middle. Okay, so here we go. Just hold down the B button. Woohoo! Come on, 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 come on! Oh, what the heck? I missed it! Yo! I am just on a roll here today. I am just doing everything I can, dude, to just screw things up. Okay, so, we're gonna pull this back and try this again. And see if we can actually get more damage dealt on him. I really thought it was going to do more than 100, honestly. Like, I'm a little disappointed that it only did like that. I was I was hoping maybe a couple hundred damage, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So, you're probably wondering what those things in the back do. Um, essentially, what they do is they... Um, let me try Bomb Doobie, actually. Let's see if this does any damage. Okay. Um, so, I got to go quick with these things. Wow, it's not doing as much as... It's doing six damage, yo. What the heck? That's not good at all. I need to train, bro. Like, I'm too weak to be fighting this guy. 42 total damage. This is legit garbage. And it's my fault because I've neglected every single enemy in this area, which is not good. And I definitely think I need to get some, like, better items, too. Because, like, my items are not good at all. Woo! Excellent hit. And that it only did 132. Yo! Alright, look at that. He's being healed. Yeah, I just... Bro, that was all the damage I just did in that attack. This is not cool, bro. Look at that. And then I got to figure out how to avoid these attacks as well, man. It's kind of crazy. Um, so, I'm going to try one more thing. And if this doesn't work, then I will definitely just quit right now. And then just go find some items and then train my booty off. So, let's try this and see how much damage does. So, Mario, Luigi, 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 Mario, Mario. Okay. Mario, Luigi, 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 Mario, Mario. Alright, and then it's gonna be Mario, Mario, Luigi, 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 Mario. How much damage? Please tell me at least 200. 122? Bruh! Bruh, this is disgusting! This is literally disgusting! 122 damage, that's unacceptable! Like, this, I feel like I'm not doing as much as I should be. Like, legit. This is, so, something's wrong here. And it's definitely me being underleveled. Either that, or I'm just not, like, ready equipped with the proper items. So, what's he gonna do now? I'm just gonna have to let these guys die, honestly. I mean, that's just, we, we gotta go out, like, real, real people. Okay, okay, well, that was close. Oh my gosh, bro, like, what the heck, man? Why, why are you sending nukes at me? Bruh, this is, this is crazy. Oh gosh, man, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And Luigi's dead. Yep. That's amazing. I'm gonna just let Mario die with dignity right here, too. Very nice! So, uh, yep. We, we attempted the battle, like I said, and the bros died. I mean, just by playing this... Like, just the first minute of me playing this, I instantly knew, like, yep, this is a problem. I cannot do this. There's no way in my right mind I will attempt to do this. So, it's all good, though, because, you know, at least we gave it a shot. So, yeah, I mean, before somebody's like, oh, my gosh, you, you pre-play the game. I don't. This is, a, this is a, a copy file. You know, you gotta always have one of those. Just in case recording doesn't go so smoothly, you always could just go back and record. Especially with a game like this. Like, you can't just... You can't go back and pre-play something that, you know, you've already done in this game. Or not pre-play, but, like, redo something that you've already done in this game. It does not work like that. So, uh, here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and begin practicing our bro techniques in video. The whole reason I'm actually really bad at doing bro attacks, honestly, is because of the fact that I don't do them uh, as much as I should do. And that's not a good thing. So, I'm gonna just do 3D Red Shell. And I'm gonna try to get to, like, level 30, honestly. Before, like... Uh, before the next... What the heck is wrong with me today? I do not know, man. Today's just one of those days. I'm just not really into it, you know? And by that, I don't know what that even means. Like, I'm just, like, I'm not really playing as well as I should be. Okay, well, at least Luigi got his hit back. The problem is when you have, like, five of these guys, man, it sucks. Okay, so it's gonna... Okay, 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 wow. There's just so many, bro. Like, so many attacks here. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, Mario's dead. Please don't die, Mario. It's because I'm, like... I really enjoy playing dreamy battles. Because you have more control... Like, I like the Luigi-nary attacks more than the bro's attacks in this game. Honestly, I'm not really crazy over any of these bro attacks, to be honest. Like, it's just... 
they're not as fun to do, you know? Like in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, oh, it was so much fun to play with those Obrero's attacks. And even in, um, I guess in Partners in Time, it was a little tedious as well, just because you had like the babies and then the adults, so it's just like, you didn't really, you couldn't really settle with just a couple, you know? But once I kill these guys, the, then the background enemies will disappear, so it'll be fine. Alright, okay, okay, well that's not cool, bro, that's not cool, bro, that's not cool, bro. Why are you just spitting fire at me? Like, what did I do to you? Alright, and then these guys are gonna do Mario, Luigi. Okay, what the heck, man? I'm, like, so bad with dodging attacks. Alright, so it's gonna be... Mario's dead. Mario is literally dead. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, we'll use a 1-up This does half. I mean, I might as well bring it back to full, you know? The whole reason I have all these 1-up Deluxe is because my boy Mario needs them. If I'm not using them, it defeats the whole purpose of even having them. <coughs> Alright. Here we go. A one. A two. A three. I'm using the baby bro attacks, bro. Like, what is going on with me today? I'm just, like, so scared right now. It's because I'm not confident. If you don't believe in yourself, man, you're not gonna get anywhere. Woo! -hoo! How do you like that? Is that better? Is that great? Alright, now let's see what happens. Ah, oh, gosh, what are you doing? Why you gotta spit at me fire, man? You think you're Bowser? Like, this is a Bowser job, not not a freaking Aerodactyl. Alright, so it's gonna go just regular like that. Ha-ha, you got hit by your own boomerang, sucker. I don't know the pattern of these guys, because I've never really fought them, to be honest. Okay, well, I killed one of them just like that. Very nice. Um, and then with this guy, we'll do the slingshot attack. So it's good. I'm getting to learn their habits and their techniques. And I'm hoping that the reward is legit. It's a nice reward. Okay, so... Boom. Right here. Oh, yeah! 333, man! That's what I should have been doing from the beginning. I just didn't know I would be able to do that much damage. Alright, see you later. Hasta la vista, baby. See you later, Lakatus. I appreciate you being here. Even though, like, you know, you serve no good purpose besides evil. So... One of many enemies down. A lot more to go, I'm sure. What is this? A hundred coins? They, they probably expect me to go back right now and just spend this money, right? I should, like, go and use my badges. Or, I mean, my money on badges. And then, like, finding good apparel. It's just, where do you buy good stuff like that? Oh, look at this! Look at all these beans! Yo, that's crazy. This is, like, this is, there's just a lot of beans here. Now I'm interested to see exactly how many beans are in this area. And if I've collected a majority of them or not. So you go to collections, you go to beans, and then you go to Somnam Woods. Wow, 15 out of 19. There's only, like, what? So that was, that, that, when you, blah, blah, blah. that means there's only four more remaining. And then I'd have all the beans here in Somnam Woods. Wait, is there another? No, that's not another one. You know, I had to double check. I almost thought it was another bean that I skipped over. And I'm also running low on super mushrooms. Not a good thing, I must say. You know what? Let's go ahead and give them these. Some super nuts, which do nothing. In, in reality, they're just, uh, they're just some regular old nuts. Alright, let me fight, um, let me, let me, let me first get these. A single coin, man, this is, what is this, Mush Rise Park? We haven't been getting regular coins like this since the beginning of the game. Alright, what's up, little dude? I'm gonna fight this eyeball. I don't even know its name, dude, think about that. Like, that's how little knowledge I have about these enemies. Okay, here they come. I'm gonna smack them, kill the bees, and then they're gonna get angry, and they're gonna have to attack me. They're gonna have to sting me back, guys. That's why you do not... You do not... Oh, gosh. What the heck is wrong with you? Okay, and... Oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna smack him in the head just like that. So, I'm gonna do this attack. I'm gonna do the this one on the bee, ho bee hoss. And then hopefully I can actually do it rather than screwing it up. It's just because, like, I, you know, I'm going to have to get used to doing these attacks on my own. All right. Smash it. Get that, you know, Lamborghini speed. Again, I almost missed it. I'm too hasty with clicking A. But we managed to kill it on our first try. And then with Luigi, obviously, we got to do the Sling Sniper. The fact that we were able to do 3-3-3 damage on each individual boomerang, bro, was amazing. So imagine these guys. If I could just get the proper... Woohoo! 166 is that good enough to kill you both it is it's very nice and we get a thousand what huh okay i didn't know you could gain that much exp from these guys 
Had I known this, I would have been like fighting them left and right, dude. Like legit. And I need to definitely increase power. Oh, like <clears throat> not power, but HP. HP is the one thing that I need to focus on right now. Because the thing is, the bros take a couple hits and they're already dead. That's not acceptable by any means. Like you can't just let them die that quick. So uh, fortunately now we are faster than them. So I guess I'll go ahead and do... <clears throat> What will I do? I will do the jet board dash. Uh, eh, I guess I'll do it on the... Well, you know what I could do? I could just do... I could do the 3D red shell on the boomerang bros. And then I will do the slingshot stuff on the, the guys in the back. I'd rather keep the boomerang bros for the last ones to kill. Because they're just less of a hassle to do, I believe, than the other guys. Alright, why is it just like shifting focus? I clearly selected the boomerang bro, so you should be making me fight the boomerang bro game. That is disrespectful of you to just shift focus. My attention was not to him. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean they're coming back at me? Okay, so they're going upwards and then downwards. Alright, and then, okay, well I didn't mean to do that. Alright, they're going upward from the left side. And then, okay, Lamario's dead. Fantastic. You know, we just gotta kill the bros a lot in this episode to show them we mean business. Yep, to show them who the real boss is here. And that's me. So go ahead, one other one up deluxe, man. We got these for a reason, you know, Mario. Go ahead, enjoy them. This is this is where you get to eat with no accountability, bro. Feast. And unfortunately, Luigi's turn was spent doing that. So I'm hoping the 3D red. There you go. I was just about to say I'm hoping the 3D red shell kills. The boomerang bro. He needs to die. Now that I think about it, the boomerang bro are probably the ones that I want to watch out for the most. If only I was good with like counter attacks. That would be fantastic. It's just unfortunate that I'm not. It's, I'm just, I'm not good with counter attacks. Alright, so they're just going to go regularly. Okay, haha, <laughs> hit yourself in the face with your own boomerang. And then these guys, what? The bees were out of your system? I did not know that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and just uh, do this. Slingshot attack. I wonder who I should attack. Probably the the bee the bee hoss in the back. Oh gosh, come on, Bruh! What is this, bro? That was so bad. Gyro controls suck. I really hate gyro controls, man. All right, so now what? They're gonna come back at me? Nope. Um, do not want to jump on his head. Now that I think about it, yes, spikes. Probably not a good thing. That did not kill him, unfortunately. I thought maybe it would because we got some damage on him, but unfortunately didn't. Boom. There you go. 72. So Luigi's doing more damage than Mario. How is this possible? Like, is it is it possible that Luigi has more EXP or more POW than Mario? If that's the case, what did I go? Where did I go wrong? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just give you some HP. Power would have been nice. Maybe some defense. He's lacking in defense. Especially if his defense is lower than his power. That's a problem. Because Luigi is always supposed to have higher defense than Pow. Okay, so we're back here where we were at. Now we just got to go roaming the area. But I think I've already shown off enough of that. So I will most likely do that all off screen. However, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip from this place. And then I'm going to go try to find some uh, clothing, like some actually nice clothing to buy. It's just I don't really know where to go for this stuff. Um, what would be the best place? I guess the shopping area at Driftwood Shore. Let's just go check out there. Because this was the last area that we had to be in before we made our way to Samnam Woods. And I'm going to assume that the, um, the clothing here is probably the best of the best. At least comparative to everything else in the game so far. Um, hey, yo, you got some nice clothes for me? Welcome, sirs. I would like to buy a purse. All right. Oh, yo, look at this. He does have some stuff. Good stuff, actually. So this one has no special effects, but yeah, it increases hammer attack by 52. The thing is, do I really need hammers and, and, and shoes like that? Yeah, this is, I dude, I actually bought everything from here now that I think about it. Like, literally. I came here before and I bought all this stuff. So this does 52, that is 40. You know, I'm so filthy rich in this game, I might as well just buy it for the bros. And it has no special effects, which is good. So it's not like this will break on me. Luigi had a glass hammer? What? I had that boy have a glass hammer this entire time? That's not good. 
All right, so uh, I'm going to say bye-bye to you, Mr. Blockhead. Now I got to go find another place to shop because apparently you do not sell the stuff that I want. I wish they, like, upgraded the game frequently, like, where you can actually get updated items. Because I feel like, where would you go for, like, great items like that, you know? This just doesn't make sense. Um, let me try Dozing Sand Entrance. Let's see exactly if I could buy anything from this dude. Hey, yo, what's up, my boy? It's been a minute. Can I get some good stuff? Well, actually, yes. I would like to buy some of this stuff. So, Max Mushroom. That's 160 HP for 270. Um, I, maybe if I spend... Wow, that is too expensive. This does 100 HP. So, maybe if I spend... Look at that. See, that's much better. I could buy 30 of these things for 2,700. That's much better for sure. And this does 60. I have seven of them. I'll probably buy like $2,000 worth. So that's 19 total in my inventory. That's a good enough amount to have right now. Um, and then let's go to gear. Let's see exactly what we have for the gear. Um, oh, he does update. Okay, so unfortunately with an attack like this, you're going down so much just for 18 defense. Or with a, it's called metalware. It's not worth it at all. And then there's a celebrity hammer, so you're telling me that I wasted coins buying that other hammer? But it was 1200 I don't think I would have spent 2000 on this, to be honest with you guys. Um, this is 2000 as well. Um, let's see, what else? Anything else with good special effects? Nope, unfortunately not, man. So, do I buy the celebrity boots? I guess I have to. I mean, Mario and Luigi are celebrities, so they deserve to walk in fashion and style yeah i don't know bro I, I think the last thing i'm gonna do is just check out the batch shop um yes i will take a pilote give me all of my bro points and hp back so we're gonna just check out the batch shop and then i mean obviously between now and the next episode i'll be able to have so many more coins as well so like i'm not gonna be able to afford the badges i'm sure in this episode but i'm just gonna take a look it's called window shopping you know there's so many things that we all can't afford that we just look at we like to stare at because it's just like you know you might as well look at it and get your enjoyment you know eye candy rather than trying to find a way to buy all that stuff so expert batch suited to real experts to adventuring deliver some outstanding effects um Let's see, damage enemies in a flash, quite an electrifying badge. I might as well just buy like a really expensive badge, like this one, the expert badge. Alright, so, and then I might as well buy one more. The right badge for uh, discerning palette, uh, count on bright, refined effects. Uh, best for experienced adventurers, delivers moderate effects. What about this one? Miracle Badge. Increases coin payout, stops time. Ooh, you know what? I might as well just buy it now. Mm. Let's go back. And let's actually take a look at our badges now. Let's start flipping them around and mixing and matching them. That's the way to go. So go to badges right here and then flip it. Flip it. Ooh, forms a barrier that reduces damage to zero for three attacks? Oh! <gasps> Bruh. Okay, and this one, for three turns, prevents HP from hitting zero. Makes the user impossible to KO. Bruh. This is what I should have been doing. Randomly copies one of the effects of an items in your inventory. Okay. Refills 80% of each bro's HP, revives KO'd bros, and cures bad status effects. Amazing. Dude, I have two of the greatest things right now. So, for three turns, prevents HP from hitting... Zero makes it impossible for you to get KO'd. So even if I miss attacks, which is like totally what I suck at, this badge will literally help me. And then going back to reduces a barrier that reduces or forms a barrier that reduces damage to zero for three turns. For three attacks, I mean. Oh my gosh. I don't even know which one of these two I should use, to be honest. But I'm gonna try one out and then I'm gonna try the other one out eventually. So the thing is when you click it, like, hold on, let me see which one do I want to do. For three turns, prevents HP from hitting zero, making it impossible to KO. Making the user impossible to KO. Okay, um... Forms a barrier that reduces damage to zero for three attacks. Okay, I think I'm gonna start out with this one. The other one seems a little complicated. I don't know if the other one necessarily means that I can't KO them or they can't KO me. I don't know why it would be that I couldn't KO them. That wouldn't make any sense at all, but, um... 
just to be safe, I'm gonna do this. And because I went ahead and reset the badge already, um, all of my badge effects currently have been reset back to zero, so that means I have to start from scratch again, but that's totally fine, because when you think about it realistically, between now and the next episode, I will be doing a lot of off-screen grinding, so let's see what level the bros are at right now. The bros are currently level, uh, they're level 27 each. Both of them are level 27, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys saw the next episode where I'm level 30, maybe 31. I would hope that would be the case, um, but just so you know, there will be a lot of off-screen training, and I will most likely just camp out in Somnam Woods and just kill all the enemies that I skipped over. Like, so many enemies I skipped over since the beginning of my stay there, so think about that. Like, that was like three hours of content that I just didn't fight any enemies on. I just focused on playing the story mode of the game. So, obviously, that is going to be bad for me. I'm paying the consequences for them now, but it's totally fine. It's now or never. I'm going to do it right now. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. It was kind of a very sporadic all over the place episode. But hey, you know, you got to live and learn, I guess. So I will see you all in the next episode and then maybe potentially for Nintendo Labo. I don't even know if I still want to do it or not, to be honest, just because it seems like it's very time consuming to do for a video. But we will see if I if not on the video, like the unboxing and whatnot, I'll most likely just show off the final product of everything and all that good jazz so thank you all for watching once again my friends and i'll see you all in the next episode peace